Hey, Crazy Will here today, and today we're going to be talking about surround sound in a small business using Echo Dots. Stay tuned! Crazy Will here today, and today we're shooting from Growing Pains Consignment Shop. This is a project that I've been wanting to do forever, and basically what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be taking Echo Dots and making them a surround sound system in here. Okay, so this is the gear we got to make this happen. Now this is a big space and we probably need more than what I have here, but we're gonna go with three Echo Dots. And the walls are white, so I went with white. So it's three Echo Dots. Um, I think we got these on sale for three of them for, uh, I think they were like 40, $42 a piece, around that, $41 a piece. So we got three Echo Dots. And now, you may think it's crazy, but like I said, we're gonna use the multi-room system. All right, also what we got was 10-foot cords. So we can put them up high. This is a customer store. We don't want people being able to touch and mess around with these. Okay, so we got the three cords, and then we got wall mounts. Now, these are really cool. It's $11 for two, $11.99, something like that. And basically, it comes with all the hardware you need, and this is it right here, and you can set an Echo Dot right in this, and we're going to mount this to the wall, and it'll sit the Echo Dot right in it. So that's the gear, and that's how, um, that's how I'm going to go ahead and set these up. So let's go ahead and put them up and see if I can make this thing happen. I actually got my wife, Chris, helping me with this project because it is the business that she works at. So we got some of the mounts there, and she's unboxing all the Echo Dots because we have to program them before we put them up on the wall. You excited, huh? Thrilled. It's going to play Christmas music. What we're doing here is we're setting up the Echo Dots individually. Um, I'm going to program them all together first, get them on the Wi-Fi, which we're actually running a Nighthawk 1900, I believe. So we should get a really good shot of everything. So running a Nighthawk 1900, we're going to be connecting all these to the router and getting them working sync, and then I'm going to go around installing them. So. Let me walk you through the setup process. We're gonna do that right now. First, we're gonna plug up one of these bad boys. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug it in right here. And we're gonna wait for the sound to come on. And so we don't get confused, it's this one that we're programmed. Okay, what we're waiting for is the orange dot here. And now what we're gonna do, and if you wanna... Hello. Your Hello. Amazon Echo Dot is ready for setup. Just follow the instructions in your Alexa app. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to our Alexa app. We're going to click on that, and we're going to uh, we're going to look on which one she is. Um, and they were ordered by my wife, so they're Christina two and Christina three. It was Christina. I set that one up already. Um, so it says it's offline, offline. So what we're gonna do is we're we're gonna take a shot and click on the second one and see if that's it. And we're gonna click on update Wi-Fi. And we're gonna go to connect to Wi-Fi. And it gives us that symbol that hey, you know, you need to do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch over to settings and we're gonna go over to Wi-Fi. And instead of being on the Growing Pains Wi-Fi, we're going to click over to the name of this Amazon, which is this one right here, I believe. So we're connecting. Okay, we got her. You've connected to Echo Dot. Okay. Go ahead and finish the setup in your Alexa app. Okay, so we go back to the Alexa app. She's going to hit continue. She says connected to Echo Dot. Hit continue. And now we're going to pick the, the, the Wi-Fi we want to connect it to. So we're going to hit GP. It says it'll take a few minutes. Echo Dot is now connected to Wi-Fi. Now, most times you have to en enter in the Wi-Fi username and password. Um, you enter, well, we entered in the Wi-Fi, but we didn't ed enter the pi password. I already did the password on the other one, so it already knows. 
So now this one is set up. And now what I'm going to do to make things a lot easier on me is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to show you this is a really cool trick if you want to rename your devices. We're going to go in here and it changed it to William because Chris ordered them but it's under my account so we're going to click on that and we're going to change it if you go scroll down here to name and we hit edit and we're going to call this one I'm going to click in here I'm going to call this one shop to echo dot and hit save so now that is named shop to echo dot and I'm going to show you um, why I named them and this is really important why you name them you name them because we're going to group them and I'm going to okay. show you we got all three echo dots set up named ready to go so now what I'm going to do is create a group so that way they could all play music together okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go into smart home and I go to groups and these are all my commands we go all the way down to the bottom and we're gonna go to uh, create group and if you see we're gonna go to create group we're gonna create group multi room music click on that alright and now it's gonna list all the devices I have okay so what we want Refresh. Why is it not? Why can't I do that? Okay, we ran into a little bit of a snag. It's a little bit of an annoying one. These echo dots were not up to date so I can't do the multi room thing yet and they were grayed out on my screen so if you're running into this issue and this is the reason why I wanted to post this is because this um, is an issue and we googled it at first I thought because I was on a different network I wouldn't be able to do this but what we found out is they were grayed out because it's not the latest firmware so apparently we gotta wait a half hour for these to update I went into the app to see if I could update it manually and you can't so that's a really big problem I mean if somebody gets a bunch of these like we are to put throughout their house and make them a multi listening system and they're not up to date they're gonna think that it can't do it that's a bad call Amazon I mean you gotta make sure either these things are up to date you know as soon as they get out or you know make them go up to date maybe make them update as soon as they plug them in so that way they say oh one minute we're gonna update we'll see what happens uh, we're just sitting around apparently you have to wait a half hour we tried multiple things we tried hitting the mute button we tried unplugging them and replugging them we tried a whole bunch of stuff so let's see what's gonna happen here now and see if we can get this working okay I think we found the problem so we're waiting for the last one to update the other one updated I'm gonna show you how to make that group but for now we're gonna install them up on the wall I'm gonna show you how these cool hooks work alright so this is the piece we're gonna put up here and put it up high enough that no one can touch it So we're just going to place this sucker right in here like so, bam, gonna run this down, it's 10 feet so we get quite a bit of space, plug this bad boy in, that should give it power, yay! Location done. All right. So so far we placed one over there, and we placed one up here. Finally got this to update. Um, so what I was going to show you, and I didn't get a chance to, was we created a group called Shop. So that way it would play all the way around here. And right now you're listening to royalty-free music, and it's coming from both angles. So what we're going to do here 
is we're going to go into Smart Home, Groups, and if we scroll down to the bottom, you'll see Shop for Multi-Room Music, right? So what we're going to do is, that's the one I created, and I wanted to show you how to do that, but what you normally do is you just click on Create Group, Name It Shop, and then once uh, you go in there, it'll give you a list, okay, and there's the Echo Shop 3, that's the one we were waiting for. All we have to do is click on it, save changes, or create group when you're doing it, and you click that, and it says taking a few minutes. And the music stopped because we're uh, updating it. So it's going to update all three of the speakers to do multi-room. So I'm going to finish installing the last one. I know I'm sweating like a pig. I can't help it, guys. It's what I do. Um, once we get all, we, we got two of them installed already, I'm going to go, go ahead and get the last one installed in the back. And then what we'll do is we're going to walk through with the camera to show you what it's like in a big shop like this with a multi-room Echo Dot system. And if this is going to work the way I believe it's going to work, this is a great solution for anybody that has a small business and wants to put multiple room music. Now, and I will, we'll give you a review after we've experienced a regular day of business to see how the sound's working and see how, you know, if we could still hear it and if it was working, if it was too loud, if it was too low. But the great part about this is you can control, oh, shop is set up you can control all your devices each individual devices volume it what group they're in you can control everything right from your smartphone so what a great device for a person with a small business that's looking to get music in there that has a prime account that could buy a couple of these echo dots place them in certain locations so that way you can hear them perfectly and like, like I said, even if you got five or six or ten of these things and you place them throughout the business, what a great way to do it. It is a pain in the butt to set up, I'm not going to lie. We've been here longer than we thought. Um, we're already over an hour into it, uh, probably about an hour and a half. And I'm going to put the last one up and hopefully that's it and I'll be able to walk you through. And it is taking longer because we are filming. <laughs> That's royalty free. Get the screw. My camera woman, which is my wife, put up with a lot of shit with me. Doing adventures like this instead of just sitting at home watching TV like a good husband or taking her out to a movie. She helps me with YouTube videos and I don't appreciate her enough and sometimes I yell at her. I'm a dick. But thank you, honey. I love you. Video proof. <laughs> Taking that to the court. Okay, so we got everything wired. We're playing royalty free music so I could show you this and show you that it's working. Okay, so we have one there which is connected to that router over there. Okay, so now if you'll follow me down here. Excuse me, why again? We have one here, and if you can hear it, it transitions from this one, okay? So now we got one here, and if you follow me down here, You got one right here, and this is the last one. So three Echo Dots fill this completely up with music, which is pretty incredible. There's there's a couple things that are incredible. It's incredible that 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 Nighthawk can reach all the way back here, which we're almost like a block away. It's incredible that all three of them can play and fill up the room with sound. And we're at level 10 with all of these, so you can hear them pretty well. Um, we will be testing it and seeing what customers think throughout the week to see if it's too loud or too low, but it's pretty great instead of me going up through these tiles, running wires to all different types of speakers and trying to make everything work with an old-fashioned unit. 
this is going to be the way of the future, I think. And for wireless speakers and stuff like that, you know, we could have went with a wireless speaker. We could have went with uh, Sonos, I think it is. They're four, four to five hundred bucks each speaker. You can buy an Echo Dot and put them up, and you have music. I mean, you can't beat it. It's the old way we used to do things. We used to put on a radio here, put a radio there. Hopefully, the stations came in. No more. Now we have the whole shop wired for music. So I hope that helps you guys. I hope it's 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 a project that excites you. If you were thinking about doing that, I helped you with. Make sure you put a thumbs up and like and subscribe at the bottom. And remember, you can do anything you put your mind to. Peace. When were you gonna tell me? Here we have one of the Echo Dots. Don't work with your wife. You thought I was a picture, didn't you? Make sure you like and subscribe. Do me a favor already.